field out there. you got through this tank's armor. I can see how you could have bested Gregor and Selvarian. But the guts of this tank are still untouched. The real battle begins now! Good. Operation complete. Enemy tank neutralized. General Jaeger, the battalion has almost completely evacuated, sir. All right. Then you shall join with them at Randgrease. And tell this to his grace. The Gallian militia are not to be underestimated. Yes, sir. You won't be coming with us, sir? No. I shall not be returning to the Empire again. I placed my lot on Maximilian's army as the swiftest means to reclaim Feralde's sovereignty. I thought force could restore our home. That military might was the country's strength. But then I found myself fallen to the Gallian militia. 
That is when I realized. They fight in order to protect their homes, their families. Their dedication to this land is the strength that shall preserve Galia. Ah yes, tell His Grace another thing. True strength lies not in steel and powder. Valkov and the Marmota alone will not win this war. Sir, may the Valkyrer watch over you. And you. We've broken through Vassal. We're in striking distance of Rangri's now. Welcome. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. The Marmota reached the gates at Rangri's. It plowed through them and into the castle. No, we're too late. the Valkyra.
Your Highness honors me with an audience. I offer my thanks. We, Maximilian, stand humbly before you. Your Highness, you must allow me to apologize for the somewhat brutish manner of my entrance to your domains. We'd expect no less from Europa's premier commander, the great Maximilian. To cross our sovereign border with such lightning speed. Your tactics are admirable. And you are the one they call Borg. You attempt to ally yourself with the Federation. Then you turn over a new leaf and become the Empire's informant. It is all to ensure that Gallia remain a stable nation, of course. Ours is a small land, as you know. Our fate is made secure by such agreements. The sovereign state of Gallia will accept unconditional surrender and become a vassal state to your empire. In return, by our treaty, and your grace's favor, I, your humble servant Borg, will rule Gallia in your stead. <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken. What use could we possibly have for Gallia as a vassal state? We, Maximilian, shall be the one to assume the Archduchy, and then Gallia shall be made anew under us. But, but we agreed. Then as sole master of this palace, we shall wake the lance that lies resting within its walls. Falkov, the key to ruling all Europa. <gasps> the lance? How could you know? My dear princess, Cordelia, you shall serve as our bride. The Valkyrian bloodline, legacy of the great House Rongris, would be a fitting dowry for us, king of Europa. The Valkyrian bloodline? I see. You wish to ransom Europa with its power. Indeed. The reverence and respect the people of this continent hold for that ancient blood is undiminished to this day. Well then, I hate to disappoint you, but this is the true face of House Rongris. Your Highness, what are you doing? As you can see, my blood is not Valkyrian. It is Darkson. Princess, what is the meaning of this? Thousands of years past, the Valkyrie invaded from the north to lay claim to Europa. The indigenous people, the Darkson tribes, fought them for control of this land. But the powers of Ragnite they possessed were too great. The Darkson cities were burned. The struggle continued, though its conclusion was clear. Ultimately, one influential clan among the Darkson tribes defected to the Valkyrie side. The Darkson were defeated and quickly became slaves to the Valkyrie. And victorious, the Valkyra authored history to blame Darkson's for scorching the earth. Of course, then the descendants of that clan of treacherous Darkson's lived on as... Yes, as House Rondgris, the Archdukes of Gallia. In return for their betrayal, the Valkyra established them as the rulers of Gallia. We donned the identity of our masters, and were complicit in the Darkson slander. With a perfect scapegoat, the people quickly acquiesced to new rule. A common tale. A common tale that has caused me much grief. To face my people deceptively has pained me. Until the day came that I ran from that pain, trading my free will for comfort. Were it not for a single officer's words, I would no doubt still be lost in that conceit. I am bound by neither fate nor duty to obey the false blood within me. I live by my own will. I live for the sake of Gallia and its people. This 
And this alone is my calling. All the more reason to be my bride. No. For the sake of my people, I shall see you dead! <laughs> <laughs> what delightful barbarism. Do all Gallian brides share your lust for blood? <laughs> If you desire safety for your people, it would behoove you to obey me, Highness. The Valkov is in my possession. To see your homeland burn again, that would be a shame. Something happened? What's all the commotion? It's them. The Imperial Army invaded Rangreet. What? They crashed through the city walls with a huge tank and drove it into the castle. And now they're doing some kind of work on the tank still half stuck into the castle. Work on that? Did they learn of the Valkov's location? No. I can't afford to wait around here. Sorry, but... My... my chest... it's tight. It hurts. Hmm? What? What's wrong? My... my heart. I... help. Help me. Are you all right? Uh. Hey! Talk to me! I'm sorry. to Rand Greece. I just hope I'm in time. We're drawing close to Rand Greece now. As for our plan of attack, once we arrive, Focus your attacks on the spot damaged by Sergeant Melchiot in the previous battle. Exploit that, gain access to the interior, and destroy the Dreadnought's engine. Follow? Yes, Captain. I'm confident you can do this, soldiers. You are dismissed. Quite a risky operation. I know. I'm worried about morale if everyone feels like it's a suicide mission. We're used to your crazy missions by now, aren't we, guys? Yeah, you bet. Nothing bothers me anymore now. And it helps to know that if we can just win this one, our war will be over. We'll do it for Isara, and all the other friends we lost along the way. And for all of Galia's people. One more victory, and they'll have peace. Words fail me. Thank you. All right. Everybody, get ready to deploy. Almost showtime, huh, Welkin? Militia rides into Rand Gris Showdown. Mind if I put you all story on the radio? I'm afraid I can't go help you fight. But I'd like to do what I can to stand by you. As ace journalist Irene Ellett. Okay, why not? Our activities are hardly a secret to the Empire at this point. Irene Ellett, huh? I can't remember ever hearing your full name like that. At least until the war ends and I get married. Then I'll be Irene Kohler, just FYI. This'll be my last big assignment as an Ellet. <sighs> Time to do the old name proud. Give me a status report on affixing the lance. 
Work should be complete shortly, followed by final testing, sir. Good. Keep it moving along, soldier. Yes, sir. I knew it. They came to the capital to get at the Valkov. Bastards. You won't have it. signature to this treaty of marriage. You have no choice if you wish to keep your people safe. <sighs> your grace, sir! Be silent. This treaty seals our victory. Sir, the Gallians have broken through the vassal defenses. General Jaeger is defeated. Now the militia is headed here to Ranbreeze even as we speak. What? whipping those kids into shape. Citizens of Gallia, keep your faith alive. Turn and face the threat ahead and fight. Go, Welkies, go. We're all cheering for you. Make us proud. <laughs> Belgian, if you're watching up there, your son could probably use a little help. So be it. We shall fight them off ourselves. Quickly, to the Marmota. Yes, sir! <laughs> Last time, their war witch had us on the defensive. But now we possess a lance of our own. Let us settle this now for all time. Your grace, may the Valkyra protect you. Leave the defense of Castle Randwick to me. Do we look the fool that might trust a dog with so little loyalty to his master as you? Put this man to death by fire and stone. The Galia tomorrow is no place for him. Back, Maximilian! We had agreed! We had an understanding! All right, come along! Stop this! Desisted ones! Who are you to touch me? Uh, you are our final hope. Please, I beg of you, make victory yours. Thing on top. I've seen that. It's just like the Valkyrian lance, the one that Alicia carried. Look out, Sevens! Clear the Marmota's forward path! Move it! The Gallian militias fanned out ahead of us in line, sir. Range, 
4,000 meters. They say that in antiquity, the Valkyra called upon Valkov's light to crush and subjugate the entire Darkson tribe. The greatest weapon of all time, fashioned into something as pedestrian as a castle tower. How could they have known? And now it awakens. Shouldered by the Marmota we have engineered to bear it. A leviathan upon the land. Now, know the futility of your struggles. Bow before the terrible light that once scorched the earth. beam of light. Squads four and five have been wiped out. Hot ah, damn. If we'd been one step slower, we'd be a big pile of dust by now. Stay clear of the front of that thing. Move around to its side. <laughs> Dare you face us yet after that display? We wield power enough to bring any foe to his knees. This is the future face of warfare. To impress the magnitude of our power upon the world, you shall all die gruesomely. Now, cross us if you dare. Our history of unrivaled glory begins here. Here are the...
reclaiming the capital hinges on this. Concentrate your fire on that dreadnought and destroy it. Our target is the Marmota. Sink it at all costs. Squad 7, move out! Here we are, actually squaring off against the Marmota. Yeah, this will... Lieutenant Gunther, are you all right? Princess Cordelia? What are you doing here, Your Highness? I know I may just be in the way, but I wish to be of assistance however I am able. I wish to fight as well. Allow me to stand in defense of my homeland. I understand. We'd be honored to have your help in the rear guard. Here's the plan. Start by focusing our fire on the whole Alicia's lance made. The Dreadnought's side is lined with cannons, though, so you'll need to be careful. Roger. Also, tanks can use the depression in front of the Marmota to fire upward. Right. I'm on it. We've come through a lot of tight spots, Sevens. Believe in yourselves. I know we can do this. Squad 7, move out! Entering combat! area on the Marmota's side. Yes, the plating on that spot was vulnerable after all. Sir, part of the side plating damaged in that explosion appears usable as a foothold. You're right. It looks like we could climb up from there. Judging from its design, the Ragnite drive system is likely near the propeller. If foot soldiers could get at those to attack them, they may be able to do further damage. Okay, let's go with that plan of attack. Imperial, closing in. Here we go.
assuming that giant lance is gone. It looks like destroying the drive system powering the propellers has paid off. Good. If we can just destroy that lance, the Marmota will be defanged. Listen up, Sevens. Your orders are to direct all attacks at that lance's tip. Tanks, use the incline at the Marmota's front. Ground units, aim high and let fly. Yay! Our target is the Marmota. Sink it at all costs. Squad 7, move out!
turn, okay? Enemy unit spotted! I'm a weapon. No, a shield! My wounds are healing. Sustained. Damage minimal. Sustain. Underminer fire. No. Our target is the Marmota. Sink it at all costs. Squad 7, move out!
the hunt begins. Dreams. Man down, everybody be careful. to me.
fighting. Sweet dreams. Good work. Keep it up. to be of assistance however I am able. dreams. Yeah! 
Damage minimal. Okay? Hmm. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil.
begins. Good night. Sweet dreams. Man down. Everybody be careful.
waiting here.
Get ready to die, imps.
Roger. Okay, ready now. I'll hit both. Dreadnought destroyed. Repeat, enemy dreadnought destroyed.
Okay. Let's find the engine and kill it. That would be most inconvenient. Maximilian. Show yourself! The finest engineers of the Empire shed both blood and tears to forge this Valkyrian shield and spear. As you will observe, their powers exceed even the originals. Stop this! Haven't enough men died? Why are you doing this? Why we fight for our dream. Do you not think that reason enough? So many have died for less. Besides, we must. Rightful vengeance must be meted out. What is this? We were born an imperial prince. But our mother was of low station. For this our father shunned us. The other heirs saw us as a threat to their ascension. They bombed our train when we were but a child. Though we survived by some cruel miracle, the fates were not so kind to mother and the rest. On that day we swore an oath. We would take the Empire, and the Emperor's throne for our own. Talking about the Valkyrie's power. The time of wars waged by men wielding powder and steel is fated to end ere long. The new age will be shaped by emperors, not men. Yes, he who wields the destructive power of the Valkyra grips the very reins of history. Peasants, let us end this! We shall never stop, not while we draw breath! Here are your final orders. set to begin. Let's take Dahlia back with our own hands, Sevens! This is our final operation! Let's end this war! Squad Seven, move out! A 
up on the Marmotas deck, eh? Nice spot for a showdown. It's just a shame we got no audience. My shamrock's chomping at the bit for a piece of this. The Edelweiss is also all ready to go, sir. We're ready for your orders, Welkin. Okay, let's get started, Sevens. Our target is the enemy commander, Maximilian himself.
Fail me now. Fighting for us. Just keep it up. 